This year is a very auspicious year for Singhala cinema because we are celebrating 75 years of Singhala cinema or Sri Lankan cinema in our beautiful island. And I'm, when I look back, I think I have been almost, not 75 years, but almost 60 years of that period I have spent in this industry. I have worked as an editor, I have worked as an assistant, I have worked as producer and finally, of course, I have worked uh, continuously on ten films as a director. Now for me, being a female in our part of the world, especially uh, for me as a Sri Lankan, I think I was privileged because one of the things was, of course, I went very early in the history of our industry to study filmmaking. I, I decided to be a filmmaker even before uh, the uh, industry had taken any formal kind of uh, position in, in relation to, say, world cinema. After all, cinema itself was 200 years almost now, but we had our first single film in 1947, but there were some uh, early experiments which came and didn't take fruit. So, for me, this is a very fruitful year because I've been awarded, amongst other things, recently, that was actually yesterday, a doctorate, a doctor of literature from the University of Kalania. I feel very privileged because cinema is always considered not the most important art, art form, uh, artistic expression as one would say uh, among mankind. But later on, I think especially the French and the Russians always felt that cinema was actually more important than maybe even theatre because though a film uh, was made with actors, cinema had to give something little more. And even when I think of even a painting, painting has other attributes like lines and colour and all that. So I being an editor, I give preference to this beautiful thing of two shots, makes, does not make a third, but makes so many other uh, possibilities with two disparate shots or ideas. So I guess cinema is a beautiful tool, beautiful uh, uh, form of art for all of us to indulge in. And I was privileged, I was happy, that I was accepted by this industry, the people accepted me, my films had a meaning and I did mostly films on the state of women in this country. I didn't do didactic films but I did films that raised the consciousness of people about the condition, maybe the deprivations, the uh, aspirations that are lost to the female form. It may be young, it may be middle-aged, it may be widows, but I was preoccupied because being a female, I felt I didn't consciously actually do it, but I, when I look back, I have obviously followed a pattern and that pattern has been my pathway to search for myself to better uh, how one can help to better oneself, especially when it came to gender issues. And for me to have started my career way back in 1960 with the beginning of this huge, uh, for Sri Lanka was a big film, uh, an epic film called Sandesya, set during the time of the Portuguese, and the Portuguese uh, 
were depicted in this we were depicting the whole uh, atmosphere of the occupation of of uh, the portuguese in this country because they came in 1505 and they stayed really i think 200 years and during that time the rebellions that took place the 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 sri lankan rebels who fought uh, back to push the invaders i think that struggle was part of the story of sandesh and when the film was finished i think he my husband dr lester james peris i like to mention without him i may not be what i am today uh, he took it to kalavivare to the film festival and mercifully he had good reviews and good uh, kind of uh, acceptance of the film later on when he came back i think the czech republic at that time took over took some a couple of films i think about two of my husband's films and two or three of other films to be uh, maybe to be shown commercially and finally to find a resting place in a nice archive where they will look after the film mercifully the film itself is preserved in Czechoslovakia in the Czech Republic uh, and here in Sri Lanka i don't think you can find uh, uh, maybe a few frames of films here and there and bits and pieces of uh, copies on video or dvd you see some images but a restored version which i believe has been with the archives and they have guarded the Czech Republic has guarded our film a Sri Lankan film from way back of 1960 all these years and we are eternally thankful for for that uh, gesture of goodwill and now to fulfill that gesture and we are more than more than thankful they have gifted the archives have gifted our archives the sri lankan national archives and the national film corporation uh, a copy i think is a dcp but the original negative anyway is lost but this is a copy made may must be from the print originally and we are trying we are hoping to release it i think the film corporation is hoping to have a, a public screening of this and i think we are indebted to the czech republic to the people of czechoslovakia to have uh, borne the cost of looking after a third world country film with this much attention and care may god bless you thank you very much Thank you.